Bonjour mes amis and welcome to Gourmet Cooking. We're going to do some Greek food tonight. Go to the Greek Isles and save us some of the wonderful, wonderful dishes that they have from those uh, islands that you, in, in the uh, Mediterranean. We're going to take some lamb and we're going to cut it up and make skewers and grill that and then place that on top of a nice piece of pita bread and with a Greek sauce of cucumber and garlic and yogurt. And that is delicious. We're going to take some fresh beets and cook those, but we're also going to cook the tops with the bottoms. It's a very interesting way of fixing beets, and it is a Greek style. And then some nice fresh green peas with some fresh onions, our little spring onions, and cook those for another Greek dish. So we have our three Greek dishes for the day, and for those of you that are interested, the recipes are on page 32 and 33 of volume four of Gourmet Cooking. All right, <clears throat> some of these things take just about the time that it takes to do the show. So we want to start and get things really hopping, and we started already, we've taken these nice little pearl onions, these little small boiling onions, and we've started them off in a third a cup of olive oil. And we've got that going, and we're going to turn our heat up now because we're going to add some other ingredients rather quickly. We're going to take four green onions, four or five depending on their size, and cut those into small pieces. <coughs> We're going to add that to the onions that are in the pot. And then add our green peas. And these are nice fresh peas that we shelled just a few moments ago before we came on camera. They're beautiful, they're tender, they're going to take about 15 minutes to cook. We're going to add those to our onions and the oil. And we need then also one third cup, about third to a half cup of water, a little salt and pepper. And we're going to let these cook, turning them from time to time. As soon as that water comes back to the boil, we will turn it down to simmer and let these cook in about 15 minutes. Our dish is ready, so nothing could be simpler. And fresh peas shelled are absolutely just fabulous in taste. So let's also go to our beets, because they take about a little while. In fact, the beets take a long time. The roots, the root portion takes about an hour and a half, sometimes three hours, depending on the size of the beet. So what we want to do now is take, we're only going to go through the motion here, we want to take our beet, and we cut it, the root, with a little piece of stem. You don't want to cut into the root at this point. And we're going to put that, now we'll boil that in boiling water for about an hour and a half. Now we've already done that, you can see them here, I've cleaned them. Got one more, we'll clean in a little while. But the other part of this dish is going to require some of the greens. We want to take now a bunch, we've got some big outer leaves on here that are probably going to be a little tough so we'll take those off. But these other tender leaves, we can take those, and I've done that with some of the ones we've already done. We'll take, especially these nice young tender ones, the center leaves. We want to get a bunch. We could do them all, but that'll be a little too much to go with the amount of beets that we have. So we'll put this aside. And taking our leaves and the nice red stems. We'll just simply cut them in half to facilitate. We want to put those in boiling salted water and let those cook for about 15 minutes. Let's pick up these few pieces and a spoon along the way. And we'll let those come to the boil and let those simmer for about 15 minutes. And then we'll take those, drain them, and add those to our beets and finish off our dish with a nice sauce to go with it. Now, we're also going to require uh, some lamb, and we need to make those in skewers. Now, I've done quite a bit of them, again, to save time. 
But we have a nice piece of lamb left. This was the better part of a leg of lamb. Uh, you can use any, a number of parts of the lamb. If you can find it all cut up in the butcher uh, into uh, cubes already, all the better. But a nice piece of lamb that is preferably from the leg portion or even the shoulder would be all right. Now we want to cut out all the fat, really. And then we're going to cube this. I'm following the muscle line here, as you can see, in cutting this piece of lamb. And then I'm going to cut off the fat that's on the edges, any little pieces of membrane. And that looks like, well, here's a little piece of fat. We need to get it out of there. <clears throat> and we're looking for pieces about a, uh, an inch square. So we want to cube this. And cutting that in half, we can make some nice pieces that will fit beautifully onto a skewer. So placing that. Now, this one piece has a little piece of fat attached to it. We don't want that fat. That's not very tasty, and uh, it's not good for you. So let's take our lamb here, cutting right where these muscles join. We can cut off the... tough membrane and the fat and again make some nice pieces that we can skewer. Cutting this, we'll cut this in half and give us a few more. Now we want at least one nice skewer for each person, each piece having about five or maybe six pieces of the lamb. But we need to season this. Now, this is going to require just a little bit of oil. You want something to hold these seasonings onto the meat. So about uh, two teaspoons of oil will probably do it. Let's stop a minute. Let's toss our peas and the onions in this olive oil, water, salt, and pepper. And we can also now add a little bit of dill weed. We'll have about a tablespoon of dill weed, which will add to this cooking, which will add its flavor to the peas and just make it fantastically good. All right, we'll let this cook again. We need to cook this all about 15 minutes till those fresh peas are tender. Back to our lamb. We have the lamb portions. We want to add a little bit of olive oil. We want to sprinkle that with some oregano, and I'm using leaf oregano, a little bit of salt, and uh, some black pepper. Then tossing that all in the oil and the pepper and the salt and the oregano, we want to coat each piece of meat so that the flavorings stick to it, and then we want to skewer. Now that's very simple. There's nothing to go with it except the lamb. So we simply take as many pieces of the lamb that will fit on the size skewers that you have. All right, that was about five. You, we'll add that to what we already have prepared. Let's see, we can get a few more. Now this is going to broil in the oven. If you have a grill, it's a great way to cook it too. Um, but you can broil this in the oven for about, uh, about 15 to 20 minutes. So obviously, I've already got some done in the oven that we'll serve and then we'll cook these later. But we'll start them right now in the oven. Let's see, we've got another piece here. And we have one little piece, and I think it will fit on this skewer. And we have created a number of skewers. Now we can turn the heat down on our onions. It's boiling nicely, tossing that. 
we want to take a, an oven plaque or a pan and we simply place our lamb kebabs or our lamb skewers on to a sheet and this goes in the broiler for between 15 and 20. You want to turn those once or twice during that process so that it will cook evenly all through. So putting this aside, let's now go to our sauce that we have to make for our lamb dish. And that's going to require, first of all, five nice large cloves of garlic. I still have a lot of olive oil on my hands. Let me wipe some of that off. Stopping again, distributing the peas. And our beet tops are cooking nicely over there. I'm going to squeeze this piece of garlic, <coughs> excuse me, and then cut off the bottom. And in all probability, that skin will just pop right off. So it's another technique of peeling a garlic. So we have now five nice cloves of garlic. So we want to start making our sauce, and I'm going to use the processor. You don't have to. You can simply chop the garlic and add these other things. Now, when you're chopping garlic in a processor, <laughs> you need to drop the garlic into the processor while it's running. Now, if you don't do that, then the garlic is likely to ride around on the blade and not chop. The next ingredient is going to be grill, uh, grated cucumber. So I'm going to put the grating blade in there. Now we're going to take a cucumber, cut off the end. Now you can peel it if you want. It's not necessary. That's, that might fit. Yeah, we might have to slice a piece off the side to fit the processor, but we'll add it into the side over here. So let's now grate our cucumber. So we have the garlic and the cucumber. Take the grating blade off. We no longer need it. And we'll add now one pound, that's two cartons or 16 ounces of um, yogurt. Blend that, adding salt and pepper. And we have now created our sauce. Let's turn that though. we have a nice cucumber garlic sauce to accompany our lamb. So we're going to pour that in to a bowl. Now it's nice when you chill that, but we'll hold that aside and we'll use that in a moment. Meantime, let's go back to our peas. They are going to be ready soon. Let's go to our beet tops. They're just cooking away over here. They're nice and colorful yet, and they're getting very tender. And they'll be ready to drain in a few minutes. So let's do, go back to the beets again. Now, the beets were cooked, and when they were cooked, after that hour and a half, maybe two hours of cooking, we end up with this. Not very attractive, is it? But now we cut into the beet root and cut that top off. Look how beautiful that flesh is. You can also cut off this little tail. It's not necessary. And then we need to peel the beet. And that is very simple. It's best done under running water because it just makes everything come off more easily. But you can see how easily that beet peels. Let's rinse that, though. And then we need to take our beet and cut it 
into pieces, bite size, slices, dice, whatever suits your fancy. But we cut the beet, and I have one more that we did not cut. Now, beets are so delicious. Now, especially these fresh ones. They are so sweet, and they just taste like another vegetable, m far, far nicer than the canned variety. And they're easy to prepare. They just take a little time in the boiling process. Now, let's move that over. Let's go to the stove and take our beet tops, bring those to the sink, and pour those into a colander. Now, we'll let those drain a moment, and then we're going to refresh those in cold water. Let's put this aside, out of the way. Let's refresh those in the cold water. That will preserve that nice color that we have. And this, again, is a cold dish, so we want now, most of us throw away the top, and yet the top, the beet greens, are very delicious cooked, either by themselves or in combination, and the stems are very flavorful. And when you buy the whole beet, you get the tops too, and that costs money, so why throw it away? So we'll drain those as much as I can here, and Let's see if we can, we're still dripping, so let's let that, that, that drain a little bit more, and we'll come back to that. Looking at our peas, they're all cooking, oh boy, do they look delicious. And they're going to be ready any minute now, but we're going to give them the time that's allowed. And of course, our lamb is cooking in the oven, or the ones I had already. And for our dish, we're also going to need, oh yes, we definitely need some pita. So we need some pita bread, and of course these are the commercial variety, but we want to heat these up, so I'm going to put the eight that I need now into a 350 degree oven for about five, six, seven minutes, just till they're nice and hot, and we'll come back to that. Now also for our lamb dish, we're going to need some onion. And we want some little onion rings, so I've picked out some very small onions in the market, and we'll cut those. And we have, that's enough of those, though, because I've got plenty here. All right, we simply make rings, and we'll need that for our final dish, and there's a little assembly that goes with this. We're also going to need some tomatoes, and right now, the nicest tomatoes I can find in the market are these beautiful plum tomatoes. So we need some slices of the tomato. So we'll just add that to what I have, putting that piece aside along with the onion. And we're going to need some shredded lettuce, which I already have. So let's go back to the greens now. Possibly they're going to be about dry enough. We simply take those and cut those grossly or coarsely. The nice dark green leaves and the red stems. They're nice and tender. There's a lot of flavor. And we want to add those to the beets. So now let's pick up a little bit, and make a very quick dressing to go with that. Very simple, a vinaigrette of pepper, salt, and four tablespoons of vinegar, and four tablespoons of olive oil, which we will pour over our beets, tossing those. 
I think you'll see that the color combination is fantastic. The flavor combination is beautiful. So we have our beets. We'll serve those in a moment. Let's come back to our board here. Wipe up. And let's retrieve our, well, let's look at our beans, our peas. They have absorbed most of the liquids. So they're about ready, and we'll serve those in a moment. So let's go to the oven and retrieve our pita breads, which should be nice and warm by now. They don't have to be terribly hot. We're also going to need a nice serving dish for this. And let's start assembling our lamb dish. And we should maybe have, we have to overlap a little bit to get all these on. And we're going to have a little garnish to go in the center. So the first step we're going to do is on each of these, we're going to put a little bit of the lettuce, the shredded lettuce down one side. of each of the pitas. And then we're going to put a few onions alongside of each of those. More or less onion, depending on your taste and the taste of your guests. And then on the opposite side, we're going to put a few slices of tomato on each one. Now, many of you may recognize these combinations. If you've gone to a Greek restaurant and they sell a sandwich called a hero or a gyro sandwich, you'll see that it's basically these same ingredients, except that it's wrapped up in the pita bread and makes a sandwich. Now, Put that aside, taking a little bit of the sauce <coughs> and placing that on each, on the lettuce, on each side. We now go to the oven and retrieve uh, lamb. and place on each one of our, over the onions, on each pita, a skewer of lamb. And this, my friends, is delicious. All right, we have those eight. Now, we only need one thing to complete this, and we need to put a little bit of a garnish. We're going to take a yellow bell pepper hollow it out, and fill the center. Let's make sure it sits level. Cutting a little off the bottom, we can put some of our sauce into the center. Placing that in the middle, we'll surround that with a little lettuce. Now, let's serve our salad and green peas. So we have now our lamb our salad. <coughs> we'll go right on to this dish. The nice colors of the beets with the greens. And our final dish will be our green peas with the onions all nicely cooked. The flavors here are fantastic. The colors are spectacular. This meal almost sings aloud because of all the colors and the excitement that goes with this. So we have our meal. We're going to serve some extra pita bread on the side to go with our tzatziki sauce. So there you have it. We're going to bring this into the dining room, and we'll see you there.
Well, our Greek food is ready and it is beautiful. Look at all the colors on this table and the tastes, the various fragrances that come out of this are just fantastic. A nice lamb on skewers with oregano flavored and broiled on a pita bread with the tzatziki sauce, the cucumber garlic sauce, the, the uh, tomato and the lettuce. A nice combination. Along with that, the green peas with the onions. They are so fragrant and colorful. And our beets with the beet tops. Now that is really a gorgeous dish. So let's serve ourselves. We're going to take one pita with all of its accompaniments right here. And then we want to get a little bit of the green peas and the onions. That nice, flavorful, it reminds you of springtime with all these nice colors. And then, of course, these beets with the little bit of vinaigrette and the nice tops and the stems, all adding to the nice color combination as well as the flavors. So we have our Greek meal. It is most flavorful and it's fun and it's different. In the meantime, too, we're going to try a little red wine with this one because it, red wine just seems to go well with the nice heartiness of the lamb that we have on the plate. We've accompanied our meal with a little bit more pita that we can dip into that wonderful tzatziki sauce, garlic and cucumber sauce. So we have our meal. We're going to enjoy it. We hope you will try this and enjoy. In the meantime, abiento. La douceur du temps nous fait des avances. Partez, mes enfants, vous avez 20 ans, partez-en.